Today we're going to replace a ceiling fan in a bathroom and here's why. Because it sounds like a jet engine taking off. Uh, it's just uh, pretty intolerable. So let's see what we can do. What I'm going to use to replace it is essentially the modern day equivalent of the original made by Newtone. So right here just bought it at Home Depot. Uh, the size seems to match up. That is the assembly. And with this fan, there's actually a chance I might be able to take this assembly out with the fan, leave the box intact in the ceiling with the exhaust, and just replace this part. Funny, this uh, pull assembly was $17. You can buy the fan assembly separate by itself without the housing and the grill for 18 bucks so let's see what happens this way I'm covered if it's not a match and I can't just plug it into the existing one I have the whole assembly if I need it so let's take this cover off we'll take a look up there and I'll show you what it looks like from the other side too okay here's the, here's the original down below uh, you can see it's been there quite a few years and makes quite a racket I'm pretty sure the bearings just shine in the and uh, you see how this style is also plugged in and has this metal assembly like our new fan. So if this works out, I'll be able to take out that assembly and snap it into the housing. But let's go upstairs and see if it's uh, plumbed properly and the exhaust is going out the way it should and the box is secure before I start doing that. Here's the other end in the attic. You can see how it's piped outside with uh, solid galvanized piping, venting, uh, power is connected to the top of the box and it looks like it's secured to that 2x6 so it uh, looks pretty decent. So let's see what happens uh, when I try switching out the fan. Here we have the old and new fans both separated from their boxes. Uh, I think it's going to work out. It looks like a match. That's the new box. So I am going to just vacuum this up and clean it out and put the new fan up there, see if it fits and see what happens. Notice the outlet part is still intact. That's wired into the box. So the new fan has a short electrical lead that's designed to plug into there. So I think we're in good shape. So I'm going to clean that out and see what happens. Okay, our new fan assembly fit right into the enclosure. So I just have to go upstairs and you know, straighten up that box now that I know it's working and fits. And put the new cover on there and we'll be good I think. Uh, quite a bit quieter than the old one and sure sounds like it's moving a lot more air. Alright, here's that second fan. Uh, similar in size but a different model. And you can see how the power port's in a different spot. Um, I can't do what I did on the last one which is to take the motor out and put it back in. I have to replace the whole assembly. Here's the box on the new one. You can see how the shape's a little different. The uh, plug's gonna go in a different spot too. So we're gonna go up there and dismantle this and rewire the new box in and get our fan done. So the old fan assembly again popped out of there pretty easily. A uh, single screw in this hole was holding it up there and when I did the screw uh, it gave me access to remove that sucker and when you look up there you can see the wiring for that old outlet so we're gonna go upstairs um, and remove the box take the wiring out install the new box, rewire the new outlet and connect the vent and all that so let's go okay here's what it looks like up top it looks like that box is attached to the ceiling joist with nails in this case and the power is coming in the top and then the vent to the exterior comes in the side so we're going to remove the vent to the exterior take the wiring out bearing in mind that it's hot right now because the light is on down below so we're going to check for power 
make sure our wires are dead before we fiddle with them and get this old box out and get the new one up here okay we've got the wiring poked through that hole on the inside of the box and you see with our new box we have that little fitting with the socket on there uh, just slides in and out so I'll be able to wire that from down below um, I could certainly do it right now and put it in there finished and this box is ready to go. It's a slightly different size to what was in there so we're going to put this in position and put some screws in the flanges to hold them on the joists and then go down below and then finalize the position we want the box in before we finish driving home the screws and then for the vent I'm going to put a couple of screws in there and also put some tape around it so it's mighty secure so that's what it looks like from up here obviously the power was off and I checked out with a multimeter just to make sure and then I never trust anything so then I always check the live wire with the back of my fingers in case there is power when my hand clenches shut I don't get zapped so this is the top view I'm gonna get the box into position and we'll finish up down below okay the first thing I did was change this fitting on the end of the conduit because the position of the outlet in the new box is a little further uh, away from the source so that meant there was going to be quite a bend on the conduit so by putting this fitting on the conduit can lay flat the flexible conduit and then uh, it'll poke into the box at a right angle like that so let's go upstairs and mount the box okay our box is secured I uh, used a, a new 90 the old one was inflexible wouldn't turn wouldn't spin and um, screwed and taped up the joints there's my flex conduit coming to the top of the box with that 90 degree fitting on there and I've got it screwed to the stud so we're going to finish this all down below okay our box is in secured and wired so let's see if we can get this fan assembly in and see what happens the original hole is a little wider than I need but instead of patching it I believe the screen's going to cover that so I'm going to test that first and then we'll get the fan in there Plugged in, installed and running, and that's it. Just have to push the grill into place, put a hole best I can. Almost beautiful. Okay, here's a wrap up on our fan project. Uh, this is the bathroom fan we installed the new tone 696 uh, one of the original fans was exactly this model so it was easy I could leave the original box in place I uh, didn't have to install this and the fan assembly snapped right into the original box the other fan was different uh, slightly different dimension so I had to install the new box no big deal and rewire it a um, couple of notes, um, well this is the old one, you can see why it was replaced, the bearing was shot, it was very loud. So a couple of thoughts, um, both new fans I bought, um, you know, were a little beat up, honestly, like um, some of the edges are tweaked, I mean I know it's light duty uh, metal and of course that's easy to bend back, uh, but they're a little misshapen, I really don't like this assembly. Uh, like for example on this one uh, there's a little dog ear here that fits into a slot over here and that was broken off this little plastic vent that um, operates like this when the fan is on it pushes the flap open and then drops shut without any pressure this is pretty flimsy um, one of the little fittings on the side was broken off when we purchased it new it didn't matter because this was the um, fan where I replaced the fan assembly and didn't have to touch the box so that was okay but however an annoyance and also to attach the original venting material to this was pretty tricky because it's plastic it wants to collapse and break so a little bit tricky um, this was uh, the vent was hard pipe 
to this one, so that may have made a difference. If it's flexible, be infinitely easier. Um, so I was able to get a couple of screws in there and some tape. Um, kind of an annoyance. And again, the whole thing, just a little flimsy, but it is what it is. It costs 17 bucks, can't complain. Um, they're not the quietest fans, so I wouldn't put this fan in my house, for example. I'd consider it too noisy, but again, this is a warehouse location. We were replacing um, pretty much like with like because the bearings were shot on the old fans, so no big deal. So, there you go.